So I, I want to talk about something that is far too common. When we started hosting the show, there was no such thing as smartphones, was there? I don't even think they were out yet. Were they nine years ago? Yes. Were they? I didn't have one yet, Maybe I don't like think. Eight but or I, nine. Like, things right. like iPads and tablets weren't really. Right. Remember when we started the we show? Had, we, we, we carried iPads. around. No, we carried around three ring binders for every show. Because Maybe for every for show the we first, do, you know, yeah. we, we obviously we want to learn about our guests. We, I mean, I know every single thing about all of you, uh, <laughs> where you shop. What, no, but we we used to carry around these three ring binders with all of the information of, of guests who are appearing on the show, et cetera. Well, I think it was in season See, two when that we got the came iPad. Out. Yes. What this is all leading to is is this digital heroin? Because what we're finding with kids is kids who overuse these digital devices, it has a drug-like effect directly on their brains, in particular this frontal cortex, which is involved with impulse control, and, and that literally, we've all seen it, a kid is sitting there staring at their tablet, and they look like they're on heroin. They look, they're, uh -huh. in a, they're in a trance, and you you push them, you yell in their ear, and they're or, still in, yeah, I they saw have kid tuned in a out. I literally saw a kid in a restaurant the other day, and he was like this. Like shaking it. I don't know if he was playing something or what, but well, I. Well, it's that game like where you gotta move it to. <laughs> I don't play video games, but I've seen people do it. Yeah, and and I just have to say this: this is a real addiction. This is very much something that people are starting to get addicted to. People have withdrawals. If someone leaves their phone or tablet at home, it's literally like they can't find their child, right? So how do you prevent a kid from becoming addicted? And then if they are addicted, because I know parents out there are watching right now, probably parents in the audience who have kids who truly are addicted, how do you get them to go through a digital detox so that they can overcome this legit right. affliction? Well, literally, it is like a detox. So part of what needs to happen is that they need to be removed from their devices. And it needs to be for long periods of time. And so what I always recommend parents do is create rules for the devices. So I'm not talking about if they're doing homework, but I'm talking about playtime. Right. So it should be that it's about an hour to two hours a day, depending if it's a weekend or a weekday, and that they aren't feeling like they can't go anywhere without it. I understand that a lot of parents now are taking kids with their tablets to a restaurant so that they can eat their meal in peace. Well, no, you have to do exactly what I did, which is entertain your kid and then bribe them with a lollipop to be quiet. Okay, maybe not a lollipop. Sugar-free lollipop. <laughs> well, you well, see that everywhere. Parents using it's their the, 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 the pad or the, the smartphone to to babysit them, whether it be in a restaurant, on the We're airplane. guilty too, adults. We all we all become a bit addicted to these, and so it just goes to show how easily it is to become an addict to almost anything.